Hey, welcome to another episode of Robert Was Here, and uh, that's me. So, uh, thank you for joining me. Um, no, the format has not changed. I am almost down to my last uh, level of energy. So, and I got my dog staring at me, so I probably can't make this video long, but uh, I wanted to say a couple of things first. Um, the, uh, the football season came to an end this weekend, uh, well, which was not really this weekend, it was you know, Friday, but anyways, um, there was a lot missing in that game, I'm not going to really get into it, but, um, Didn't uh, didn't get the job done. So, anyways, the the season's over with. But I'm so happy for those kids. They uh, they did a lot. Like a lot of them that wouldn't have normally stood out kind of did that this year. Uh, the, the seniors, all you know. I don't think I've seen any of them that didn't try to give the uh, amount of effort that you would think that a person of, you know, I don't want to say age, but uh, where they have developed, you know, at that point. And I, I believe that they did great. Um, I hope, I hope a lot of those people that came uh, for football, maybe uh, to join basketball, that would be really awesome. This is last year, uh, I mean, they did have, you know, enough people to have been, you know, a JV team and stuff, but nothing to where, like, they'd have to worry about cutting people. It's, I don't think that that has ever happened that I know of. And I, my kid's been going at the same school, you know, it's, well, kids have been over there for a decade, so it's been a, been a long time, and uh, it's been awesome. I thoroughly enjoy, even if my kids weren't playing, you know, just their excitement, their enthusiasm, uh, their... Um, willingness to win kind of trumps uh, personal achievements and that's that's where you want it like that's that's what you want the whole year it's uh, because not only if you had helped that one person that not might have needed it you know that's that right there is contagious in itself you know um, I think uh, the season, well, at least for practice, is the thirteenth. I I can't remember the dates, but it's coming soon for basketball. So it's uh, um, it's coming really soon. I hope I hope Jordan's ready because uh, the last. Uh, the last two weeks, or at least the last month, haven't been great with him because he sprained his ankle. And pretty much ever since then, he's trying to recover from that. Uh, we're not on a per se regimen. I'd love to do that. Uh, I've already sent him a bunch of stuff for him to do by himself because he was also battling with a little bit of a cold so that was you know a big setback for him but uh, I just hope that once you know they start practicing that he can kind of get right back into it 
or maybe you know he starts a little bit earlier and uh, you know gets some running in but you know I guess when you when you really get sick it, uh, it not only throws off you know the things that you wanted to do in the meantime but there's also blessings within that because he was uh, he was injured so when he got to stay home and rest he was recuperating from the injury also so it was uh, kind of a great thing I I personally wanted him to not practice anymore uh, so that way he could heal and then it just so happens where everything you know he, he, he got sick and just wasn't feeling well and just stayed home and you know just how it happened but um so proud of them. It's going to be, uh, I think, five seniors. I, I could be wrong. Six, maybe, that aren't going to be there next year. So I think uh, it's going to be a little bit of uh, an adjustment, but there's some fast kids uh, on that team even now. And the ones that are going to be coming uh, a senior next year, you know, I I assume they're going to you know do a, a, a lot bigger things. So, but yeah, basketball is coming, so I I want to make sure Jordan gets ready for that. You know, not just uh, not just physically, mentally, because it's it really does take a toll. Um, even if right now he's not having any struggles at all academically at all like he doesn't just like it's like uh, his older brother they they see the significance in education and where it could lead um, and they care like they care to do great for themselves because it's a you know personal achievements why why wouldn't you want to have them but um, yeah I know that this year though not having to worry about so much with Terrell because you know he just graduated he's going to college now um, this year I don't think that there's any basketball uh, to be had right now for him but you know I hope this is my own personal opinion. I just hope he gets up on, uh, and goes towards, uh, get working towards that. And I know that he, he does a lot of things now, uh, you know, running and like he hoops and stuff like that. So it's not like he doesn't do anything. Uh, but I mean, when you get ready for like a season or something, you're gonna ramp up with a lot of um, endurance running and, and uh, just getting your bearings underneath you because uh, if you want to do anything in college, from what I've uh, heard, even with a, a tryout, you you have to give 200%. It's not. It's not, you know, oh, I just messed up, you know, these two or three times, and we'll get back next time because there might not be a next time. That's that's uh, the reality of uh, college sports in general. Like you, you know, they're, they're they're there for a reason. They get paid for a reason, and you know, they expect um, somewhat, you know excellent standards at least so I have no doubt like defensively alone I'm not saying my kid can't shoot or anything like that not even I'm saying that at all period but defensively alone he's he's he can be pretty scary he can be he really can and then he's not he's not huge and that's that's the thing like he he knew where he grew into and took advantage of that. And uh, it looks like all my time is done. So thanks for joining me. I'll talk to you all later.
Have a good weekend. Be great.